In this video, we will see how to create a soil map in QGIS. First of all, go to your browser and search for FAO soil map. Then after, as you can see over here, FAO soil map of the world DSMW. Just click on that link. Then over here, you will click on this FAO UNESCO soil map of the world. Then after this, scroll down and click on this world, digital soil map of the world. Now here at the top, as you can see this search icon, click on that and search for world soil map. Then over here you can see this digital soil map of the world. Click on this download icon and download the shapefile, S3 shapefile format. So as you will click on it, a zip file will get downloaded. Now in QGIS, open a new project. Click on layer and then add layer, then add vector layer. And before this, before we browse it over here, we'll just extract the files. So I'll just extract it over here. Now you can click on this folder, then open it. And from here, select this dsmw.shp, which is the shape file. Then click on open. Now add this and then close. Once this has been added, you can directly add your shape file if it is already ready with you. Here I am adding the shapefile of India. So I will click add and then close this. Now as you can see, below is the soil map and above it is the shapefile of India. Now click on vector, then you will have to clip this. For that, we'll go to Geo Processing Tools and click on this clip. Over here, in the input layer, keep it as DSMW. And in the overlay layer, it will be the shapefile of India. Now, I'll just click on this and save to file. Then run this. Once you'll run this, it will take few minutes. Here I have taken the shapefile of India. You can directly add the shapefile on which you are working. So now we have got this clipped. I'll just untick both of these layers. And here as you can see, we have got this soil map of India. So I'll just right click on this and go to open attribute table. So it's clearly visible that the FAO soils and the DOM SOI have been obtained. Now I just want to extract my place of interest, which is Surat. But before that, we'll just right click on this, go to properties. Then over here, you will go to symbology. Then after here, you'll select it as categorized and in value, you can keep it as FAO soil, DOM, SOI or anything like that. So here firstly, we'll keep it as DOM, SOI and in symbol, 
If you wish, then you can change it. Otherwise, keep it as it is. Here in the random colors, I'm keeping it as spectral. Now I'll just click on classify. So as you can see over here, we have got all the DOM SOI. Then just click on apply and OK. So the colors have been applied. Now I want to extract the soil map of Surat. For that, I have already created the shape file of Surat. Now I'll again go to vector, then geoprocessing tool and clip. So here I have showed you that how you can extract the soil map of India. And if you directly want the soil map of your place of interest, then just in input layer, put it as DSMW and the mask layer will be the shape file of your place of interest now this is done so we have got the soil map of surat then in layers right click on the script and go to the properties firstly we will just see this attribute table so here we are having asnum fao soil domsy now again right click and go to properties here in symbology go to categorized and in value right now I'm keeping it as SNUM then after select a color of your choice and in random colors here I'm keeping it as magma now I'll click on classify so as you can see these are the classes of the soil in Surat. Now you can right click on it and you can change the color if you wish to. Now just click on this all other and click on the minus icon then apply and OK. Now again I'll right click and go to the properties. As I just want to change this color. Now I'll again apply and then click on OK. So our soil map is ready. Now before we go to the print layout, we need to make some of the changes which are firstly here we'll re rename this for that just right click on it and click on this rename layer. Then after give the name which is here I'm giving it as legend. And now the other thing is so you can keep it as legend or you can keep it as soils. The other thing that I will like to show you is that over here, as you can see in this open attribute table, this is DOM SOI, which is from this you can decide the soil names. So here we need to classify this as per the DOM SOI. So I'll again right click and go to the properties. And in symbology categorized and keep this as DOM SOI. Then click on apply. Again, we need to classify this first because we had classified it as as numbers. Now you can change the color if you wish to. Then click on apply and just remove this all others by clicking on this minus and then click on OK. So it was just that I wanted to show you how you can classify it on the basis of SNUM and DOMSY. So I showed you both of the things. Now we'll go to project and then print layout. You can give the name as soil map. Then after over here, click on this add map.
here on the left side you can see the fourth icon which is move item content you can use that to zoom in zoom out and even move this then here we'll click on this add legend now in the item properties just scroll down and tick this only show the items inside linked map and then after as you'll scroll down you can see various options so from here firstly we can change our fonts it's better to keep it in Times New Roman and font size is 12. You can go to configure fonts and keep it as Times New Roman and font size is 12. Then after you can even change the font color and the font alignment. These are all the things which you can do if you wish to. Now I have also added a frame just by ticking that checkbox of frame. Here in symbol, these are the symbols, right? So if you wish, you can increase its width, its height. Then after as you'll scroll down, you will even get the spacing option by which you can adjust the spacing between the legend title, between the groups, the subgroups and the subgroup headings, legend items. You can know your soil names by just left click on this image. Here all the names have been given. Like suppose if we see I need to know the name then it's chromic vertisols. Now I'll go to greeds, greed 1 and then over here. I need to keep some interval which is like I'm keeping it as 10,000 then just click on this draw coordinates firstly I'll draw the scale bar here in the segments you can keep segments up to your choice Then after, as you can see over here, just click on this browser like icon in CRS where we need to set our CRS. So here set your CRS as per your UTM zone. You will be able to find your UTM zone using the UTM zone finder. So now over here my UTM zone is UTM zone 43N. I have set it then in X and Y. I'm keeping it as 30,000, 30,000. Then scroll down and keep this as vertical ascending. And over here in the line style, you will reduce this opacity to zero. You can even configure the fronts, keeping it as 12 and Times New Roman. Now I'll just keep the north icon and over here on the right side you can see this arrows option. 
from here you can select any of the arrow so here I just need this type of arrow and you can change the field color and the stroke color then again I'll click on this and I'll add label which is the soil map of Surat keeping the font size and over here center and middle then I'll take this checkbox of frame now you can easily adjust the position again I'll click over here and scroll down and take this option of frame so now this is done we'll just lock layers and lock style for layers then go to layout and export this as image I'll just save it on my desktop now this is 300 dpi if you wish you can change it to 600 dpi over here I'm keeping it as 300 dpi and click on save I'll just show you so this is the soil map of Surat the image that we exported now you can go to layout and export this as PDF so this is how you can create your soil map using QGIS thank you